My name is Dalton Tennant, and I make music. I make melodies. That's pretty much what I do. I met Drake through a mutual friend at the time. Um, I had started producing, and he said that there was a guy in the city, we're both from Toronto, said there was a guy in the city that was looking for um, a producer, and we met at a studio one night, and um, I played him some music, and we just started working with him. We've always been making music, and we're like brothers, and then when there was, when there was time to incorporate the live music into the show, it was just what I had always done, so it's like a handshake agreement. Just do it. On paper, I'm the music director, but officially, I don't know the start date. <laughs> we just make music. That's fine. Yeah. My job is really to keep the energy for the audience, is to keep it, you know, keep their energy high. So I just, that's my job. It's like the alter ego. I gotta step out, do what I do. You could probably ask T, I'm probably up here dancing, I'm probably up here singing, I'm not really paying attention to it. And then once I get off stage, it's just, I'm back to just normal, glasses off, back to just Dalton. I guess one of the biggest things about being a music director is really being able to uh, manage personalities and uh, quick problem solving. If there's an issue on stage, I gotta be able to fix it right away without the audience knowing anything happened. And it's just really making sure the artist is comfortable musically so when they step on stage, they can execute. They're not second guessing anything. I call it the spaceship. I have the ability to build my own spaceship, my own sounds, and uh, manipulate them better. So it's a lot more freedom now as opposed to when I started. Okay, simple setup, three keyboards. Smallest keyboard, I dedicate to bass. Middle keyboard, I dedicate to synth and any auxiliaries. Biggest keyboard, pianos, EPs. Anything that I gotta play that's warm and colorful is here. All the low end I'll, you'll get from here. And then I got a sample pad here. If I gotta hit samples, I could do it here and then all my effects will be here. And I could affect all the keyboards. If I need to add reverbs, delays, Filters, I, I do it all here. And then an iPad so I can watch basketball while the show's going on. <laughs> I sample everything into the keyboard to keep the CPU as low as possible, but uh, I've built a lot of my sounds using native. I ended up getting complete 12 last year. I built a lot of sounds with that, built some sounds with Reactor, and then I just add effects and layers and stuff like that just to keep it um, to my comfort level. So I'm comfortable hearing what I'm playing when I'm playing. I'll sample some sounds from the actual album. So when I'm playing it, it's, it's familiar to the crowd. And then um, just adding little effects to it and stuff like that, just to make it my own sound. Music is music. You know, we all make music, we enjoy the music. And it's an expression, but the biggest thing for me is the brotherhood. Brotherhood and sisterhood is loyalty. A lot of the people that you see backstage, even the people that you've seen, you know, people that have greeted you, those are friends that we've had since day one, since, you know, we're doing shows in, um, you know, clubs with 20 people and when every label was saying no. So if, if there's anything about him, it's, it's been that, that he's been true to his word when he said, if it blows up the way um, we, we spoke about it and dreamt about it, he said he's gonna keep the people around, and he has. And they're here, so it's, you know, it's living proof. <laughs>